Ivy showing that resilience you need. Down the stretch on the big stage, they will initiate here. Arteezy to start things off, already committing. The Silver Edge fairly early, but Envy, eyes on the prize, focusing on objectives. Using some illusions to chip away a bit at top. Envy still tanky and they go for another dual target instead. Jumping in, the egg gets dropped, it's on everyone with the Vortex combo. This could be the dream team by Free G. Omni there as well, brings that MSS, looking for more, will slaughter Pile I Die too. And Envy and Fada on the run. Don't see Envy getting out of this one, perhaps Fada can. Actually, they're afraid to chase because of the buyback. So they this is painful stuff as they will have to defend with Cut of Phoenix. I don't know if they can really take a team fight without that supernova. And no buyback either. There will be no shenanigans for EG. Chairman Mao, once again, marching in. How do they take this fight? EG will try. It's oh. a He got all five, but where's the follow-up? Do they have it? Do they have the damage? It seems they might. Finally, a stun, but EG heading on a open a prayer. Keeps them in the game, at least for now. Five man electric vortex. That was insane from Janelle. Found the opening and keeps EG in the game, LD. And not just that, they want more. They're gonna find Envy too. Chasing them out, there is a buyback. He looks towards the arcade room. Blinding right there. First holding back and he is revealed. You know this is super no And perhaps MP just say screw it and commit. They don't have to fight against as many eggs this time. Envy for what it's worth has a butterfly, but again! So bad! He gets every single one aside from a lone survivor, lifts away at EG. They find the opening. It's Oba. It's JJ. Is it? <laughs> I think it is. is. So. Envy, can they cancel that? Surely you can. Okay. <laughs> 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 Quickly enough, let's keep an eye on the pit as a quick swoop in reveals Roshan at about half HP, so it might be daytime as this Roche is completed. Universe will be initially chained and forced back. They commit the Crimson Guard pretty early, so a small defensive tool that MP may not have when the real fight breaks out. That darkness counter about to reset, and now it is night, and they hunt. Jumping forward, but a beautiful cogs by MSS prevents the Universe initiation. Pushing it back, he's up a mana, they don't have a duel for this fight. NPC's opportunity rushing in. Fada there as well, there's the chains. No follow-up just yet. The blinding light is going to force EG back Damn. with no mana on the... Soul oh, the oh, He's done it! Still the Aegis takes it away from the clutches of MP! Whoa, what I miss? The song has fallen to the radiant. Immortality is mine! Again, we haven't started to see an impact from this Razor at all. He's just been sitting top, taking kills on the fed to him, but not really moving around. He's just trying to get after the Razor, and he's static in front of XY. They are just keeping him in the area, waiting out that play to me. He's trying to keep him, but the first thing is falling, and moving down, he's juggling out to have a fight. Two more heroes keeping him forward. Our team looks like he's going to have a long haul jab. He's going to have to the two, and there's the Sonic Wave, but that's the end. Not to turn this fight, but no, he's still coming out victorious. Arteezy, even with just a scratch of health, secures a rampage at 14 minutes in. Dyer's top tower is under attack. It's bad that the ODT is pressured, though. This lane. Sumail was able to take the last room. Oh, he's speaking of pressure. Quick jump forward with multiple spirits. Sumail finds the kill on SC. Can Faith punish him, however? Keeping the chase going. He has glimpse of Verbal. The vision is up. Sumail now being pulled back underneath the tower. But no! Slide of fist dodging the glimpse back. He'll put the spirit down inside his TP home. The courier gets sniped off in the meantime. That was the radiant one. Back to life from the Aegis Immortal. Quick TP out. Is there a stun? Is there anything? Yes, there is. As the frostbite available from crit. 
Meanwhile, around the shrine, the ship flies in, and right now he's trying to install her. The man, the Conker, he wants to crack the melon. The Doxia Wall will help out. EG, underneath their own shrine, will win inside, taunting on one HP under the corpses of Nubi and away from the ancients, which are also threatening his life. So the black hole available for what could be round two. In comes Sardar, the fish man, out for blood, and they're gonna find Fada. That's a pretty tasty treat if they can take him down, but he's got the remnants limping into the river. Still the chase from OP, no real help for Fada, trying to make it back to the safety of the shrine, and he will do so. The crush is there, but now the fight's gonna turn around the other way. Storm in danger, he's overextended. Bubblecon 2 and NP with the big punish burning. Could be the third, no! The Infest Bomb joke! What a play by B God still though. I don't know if he makes it out of this one. One good bash from NP will do him in. Burning will fall, and NP, it's well, not yeah, not an ideal black hole. Okay, But then we never know whether he's alone or not. All right, well, they're going to continue to siege here. Jump in, and it's for Fada. He's got the blade now. Axe as well. The status quo gets the point. Can they keep him locked down? Fada tries to make his way back towards safety. Slight of fisting, and then Remnant his way out. He will escape for the type B, but OP says no. Come back here, sir. Ooh. Come back here already. Fada with the juice. Fada with the plays. Fada will survive. Fada, Fada, Fada. And now they look for more. The black hole's there. Big commitment. Burning. There are no gods today. Perhaps he gold can't even get the kill. Three will fall. <laughs> The cost of magic. Here is in a creep wave underneath his tier one tower, but still cannot do much much about it. Enough to intimidate them back a little bit. Ooh, he's doing very well. He has no friends on the bottom. So you start off with a Malphus into the Frostbite, Fire Strikes to the Bubble, and a big army of conversions. That's a very simple kill, and surprisingly, EG not bringing friends down there to ensure the Razor is still safe. It would just be another hero dying, I would say. But at least he wouldn't possibly oh, die to Black Hole. was playing this perfect around the tower. The double TPs are coming in. Sees regeneration. Blinks up. Avoids the attack. And now Zaman was on the run. Noble will slow him down. He has facial development. Dream calls off cooldown in one second time as well. So he turns to run. Is he going back in for this one? You bet he is. A back out of the tower. Zaman will find the kill. Makes a break for the tree line. Face half a second. Wow! He lets it go. And now caught in the tree line. He will finally fall down. But he hit that deep button.
with him and he wants that rampage and the power he calls I'll get him too. Well, Ag actually could be the one in trouble. Lin's back at the high ground, flipping on the bottle. He's going forward, trying to get another kill to nail in some serious trouble. All of his spells on cooldown. He does finally pick up the game, but just gonna get out here. And he's going or forward, makes it to the high ground, takes out Black before he goes down. He does end up dead, but played that just about as perfectly as he could have.